The war of words is heating up as India inches closer to the general elections in 2014. Following the scathing attack by Narendra Modi, the ruling Congress party today gave a point-by-point -point rejoinder to the NDA frontman's charges. Congress is hiding behind the burqa of secularism, Modi had said. In what seems like a concerted effort to protect its battered image, the Congress threw its vocal guns into the battle. Whether it was Shashi Tharoor, who is responsible for Congress's social media campaign, or Ajay Malkin, or the loquacious Manish Tiwari, each of them had something to say. Shashi Tharoor tweeted, Modi says we hide behind the burqa of secularism preferable, surely, to the khaki shots of intolerance and hatred that he now tries to hide. Ajay Markham said, The burqa of secularism is much better than naked communalism. Communalism breaks the nation while secularism binds it. The Congress feels it has managed to corner uh, Modi in a spot, uh, especially uh, you know uh, when it comes to taking the debate to Gujarat. So therefore, this is an opportunity no congressman would love to miss. Uh, and therefore, we are seeing a phalanx of Congress leaders today uh, making a response to Mr. Modi's comment. They think this is one area where they can actually corner him. You know, even if the BJP assumes that this is polarization is its strength, uh, the Congress sees that as the only opportunity to polarize the non-BJP voters in its favor. And therefore, the entire phalanx of Congress leaders uh, have come uh, come uh, into the ground. According to experts, the political debate is increasingly narrowing to Gujarat versus India or Modi versus others. Analysts say the Congress has failed to set the agenda straight and has, in a sense, fallen to the BJP's trap. Now it looks the way uh, uh, the, uh, the Congress sees the benefits of uh, polarization. Like uh, the senior BJP leader Yashwan Sinha has warned that his uh, you know controversial statement will you know shift the focus uh, from corruption. But uh, if uh, the Congress sees that as the only way to set a different agenda for the election, you know, uh, an agenda which is like a terrain denial, you know, it's like limiting the election agenda to a few uh, 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 topics or a few subjects, and then take more allies with itself in the process. If the Congress sees that as the gain, then this is the route the Congress will follow. Political observers feel that the Congress party has fallen into the trap laid by the BJP to make 2014 a fight between Narendra Modi versus the entire central leadership of the Congress party, something that the Congress evaded in the assembly elections of Gujarat last year. However, with the political rhetoric set to increase in the days to come, it is yet to be seen how it pans out ahead of 2014 general elections. While the battle for the votes is yet to get underway, the battle of the sound bites is clearly on.